Hello everyone, this is Terry, and this is part three of Let's Talk Text. In videos one and two, I covered how to create text with the text tool. I covered the text attributes and how you can make individual changes to letters and move your text around. And then in video two, I talked about transforming your text. This video will cover how to fit text to a line. So let me clear the screen. And the first thing we want to do is to create some text. And I'll choose the name of a person. And the next thing I want to do is to choose a color and then I'll just move this text over into the middle of the screen so that you can see it although that wasn't really important for what we're going to do now the next thing I need to do is to digitize a shape and for this exercise I want to choose the open curve and I want to apply a stitch to it in, in this case, either a running stitch or a zigzag, so that I have a line that I can see on the screen and that you can see. So the, to create this curve line, all I need to do is left mouse click, and that anchors my um, cursor on the screen, and I want to click again. That establishes the height of my curve. I'll click again that establishes the bottom border of my curve and I'll double click to end it. Now I have a line and I want to choose the select tool and I'll select both objects and I did that using the bounding box but I want to show you another way to do it. I'll click off and go to select and select all they're both selected and now I want to choose fit text to outline so let's talk about this a little bit when you use fit text to outline you have three different options actually you have four because you can do it on the other side of the line but let's talk talk about the three options horizontal vertical and text orientation the tool remembers the last time that you selected it during a session and the options are horizontally you can have your text align left, right, or in the center was the second one, right's the third one. You can stretch your text and in the last one you're also stretching it. Candidly, depending on your text, you may not see much difference between the last two. I'll put this in the middle of the line I created. On the second, I can have this vertically on the top of the line, in the middle of the line, or the bottom of the line. And for, for this exercise, I'll use the top of the line. The last option is your text orientation. And I don't know if you can tell from this icon, in the first instance, your text is going to lean depending on the curve and how it falls on that curve. In the second, your text will be, remain upright. So we'll choose the first option and choose OK. So now you can see that this name has been stretched, or it, uh, it's not stretched, it's centered on the line that I digitize. And you can also tell that the characters are leaning a little bit uh, into one another. Let's go back into the fit text and fit text to outline and let's shift everything to the left and choose OK. Now you definitely see a little more of the curve of the letters as they are falling down this hill and we'll go back in and choose fit text to outline and we'll move it to the far right and you can see what that looks like and now we'll choose this option which stretches the text along the line 
Now you can really see those letters are leaning on that line. What I want to show you next is the last option in uh, the text orientation, and that is to have the letters upright, and we'll choose OK. So this way you can tell the letters are upright on that line, and you can even see in order to accomplish that, that the M had to drop a little bit below the line. Let's go back to the fit text. And I'm going to go back to the first option. And I want to go back to moving the text in the middle. And choose OK again, just so you can see what the letters look like. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now what I want to do, actually, <clears throat> I want to show you what the text looks like on the other side. And lastly, what I want to show you is how you can release the text from the outline. Now, let's take that text and go back into double click on the let's select just the text. So what I want to do is move the line away and double click this text and I will make this uh, John Doe because I want it to be a shorter, a shorter line of text to show you a couple of things. And I'm going to select all the objects. I'll go back to fit text to the outline and let's put it in the middle and we'll leave it as it is where it's leaning on that line. Now I want to show you stretching the text because I don't really thought, think you saw it that well in the example that I gave you. So now you see this text has increased in size in order to fit that line and that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is whether uh, or not you want to sew this line that has been digitized underneath it is up to you. I would choose not to do that. So I will select that object in the sewing order and I want to choose no sew. And now I have my text that I can send to my machine and save as a file. And I'll call this fit to text example. And save it. And I received an error message. Please keep all the designs within the di design page. Save data cannot be sent to the card. Do you want to save it anyway? Let me choose yes and see what that means. So let's close this design. And let's open it again. And you can see I do have the text. What I was concerned about is whether this digitized line was going to create a problem saving that design. I'm new to PE design, so I'm learning just as you are. And um, this is part three of Fit to Text. Thank you. My name is Terry Maffitt. And if there are any uh, videos that you would like me to record for you, please send a comment. And thank you for your time today.